Shalom all. We're now fixing to get into our third video in this series about the Yahad. And we're going to be talking about the different orders within the Yahad. And my wife is going to help pronounce this because I'm from Alabama and I tend to slaughter different words. So she's going to pronounce the Hebrew and I'm going to read the definition. So you'll know that I don't have different voices or have a spirit within me. So the first order we're going to talk about is the Lavav. I can pronounce that. Lavav. It's the order of charity. It is the highest order thus far. And it's people of those who, are, who have undergone the first boot camp of January 2016. Lavav consists of bishop, elders, deacons, and people. The second order is... Chokhmim. It's the order of sages. It is populated by scholars with special gifts of exegesis, languages, studies, or scribal works. The third order is none. The order of fish is composed of workers and others who are in the course of none studies, some of the, which may apply to eldership and their studies are successfully completed. The think tank on Facebook is open to any persons of goodwill and civil, civil, civility. civility, no matter what the religion they are. It is out there as a think tank, and then we attempt to reveal the elect and bring them into the in cord uh, with uh, uh, the orders above. And let me explain that. Anybody who's in the think tank doesn't mean they're just in the yihad. There's a lot of people in there have different opinions, and, and we're just really trying to like fish and put our bait in there to see if we can find somebody for us. The next order is Yalitim. Yeah, which are exiles, are those who are limited, are no limited, or no social media affiliations uh, who have adopt, opted in, written in, or called in for a uh, reason for, or another. The exile uh, contact, contact information is kept in a database in the office. In other words, those are people who aren't on Facebook or, or uh, Instagram or any of those things, but they may have called in or written in, or they may have email and emailed in. Exactly. There's still a lot of people out here who don't have internet uh, who still do snail mail. Thank you so much. Snail mail and stuff of that nature, and they're still a part of us, but you just won't see them on uh, Facebook and stuff of that nature. So we do still reach out for the uh, people who are not as uh, technologically advanced as some of the others are, like me, who have a great wife who helps me with this stuff because this is so confusing. This is not going to be tolerated within the Yahad above the Apostles' Creed. There are some beliefs and practices that are strictly forbidden within the Yahad, to wit. The use of profane names for deities, including God, Jehovah, Ai, Lord, and etc. The eating of abominable foods, including pig, rabbit, certain, and certain shellfish. The breaking of Shabbat, upon which the following stipulations are required: rest from work in convocation. Now, now let me get, let me get this here because I've talked to Jax. This is the goal: is to be uh, to be shown, you know, to be to be to do Shabbat. We live in a modern world, and there's a lot of people who just unfortunately have to work on Sabbath and we understand that and you know and our goal is to be as Shomer Shabbos as we can but don't let that be a deterrent to you if you if you're working a part-time job you never know what Yahweh can do for you in the future so you know don't let that be I know and I'm speaking personally here there's many times when me and Mandy were searching for a synagogue within Judaism uh and I worked on Saturday I worked Saturday and uh I felt convicted, but when we talked to the rabbis about it, the rabbi says, it's a modern world. Yahweh, you know, Yahweh don't want you working, but we are in the modern world. Do what you can on that day. If you're off for 12 hours that day, keep Shabbos the best you can. Now, I'm not giving people an out, and I'm not telling people to break Shabbos at all. I'm just saying where we are when you come into the Yahad, let Yahweh open doors for you so that you can come in and maybe in the near future, Yahweh's going to put you in a situation to where you are not you know, working on Sabbath. But if you do work on Sabbath, the time that you're home, make it holy, keep it separate, you know, study and, and do what you can. So here again, I want to clarify, I'm not giving you an out to break Shabbos. I'm just saying, don't let that be a reason not to come in communion with Yahweh, because the fact of the matter is Yahweh is bringing us in slowly and he will open doors as we go. And as I said in my last video, we do not have a Pope or an authoritarian to, to come at you and rrr, 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 rrr. No, we are going to support you. If I know you work on Sabbath and your heart's not into that, I'm going to support you and I'm going to say, do what you can, you know, and, and pray Yahweh opens doors for you in the, in the future. Uh, uh, the conjure, oh yeah, it's, uh, praying to demons or, or, or conjuring unclean entities is not accepted within our uh, 
to you hot at all. Uh, personally insulting, st uh, striking, or publicly betraying a fellow member, it's not gonna be tolerated. Speaking against the fellowship in public or private or any of its members, and, and this is an important one because I remember in the book, book camp that I went to, there was a division of people who were really speaking against the Yahad. And, uh, you know, and, and, and me and Mandy were really new into this thing. And, you know, we were excited about our trip up there. The tent, it was a beautiful place and, and really just a lot of negative things happened. And, and we saw the dark side of this thing. And I'm so glad that, you know, the elders of Jackson have put this in here because we don't need to be, you know, if you have a quarrel with somebody, if you don't like something Jackson or Daniel or me or somebody, probably come to us and talk to us. But there were some big divisions caused within that boot camp because of speaking and people got caught up into things and a lot of confusion and stuff like that. But uh, I'm glad that's in there. Um, we have a lot of people within our Yahad that are vegetarians and, you know, and believe that, the, you know, we know the Ebionites and others were. We know James uh, did not eat meat, according to all the early writers. And uh, we're good with that. We, you know, we, we have no problem with that at all. Uh, <clears throat> but if you are that, be that and you know you teach it if you want to and stuff like that but don't try to be uh so um well, i'm trying to say authoritative that everybody has to be this way leave it open for people to make their own decisions in mind within this group uh vegetarianism you know is, is a good thing and we definitely you have no problem with it and stuff like that but we will not allow you to condemn other people who are not vegetarians in the group uh in a, anyway, on um, pharmaceuticals, the condemnation of users of pharmaceutical drugs will not be, a, you know, if you're taking heart medicine or you're taking blood pressure medicine, you're taking things like this, uh, we're not going to allow people to tell you not to do these things. Uh, you know, if you use natural remedies and don't want to use pharmaceuticals, we're not going to come into that situation at all. So we're not one of these groups that condemn people for going to doctors and taking medicines and stuff like that. We do what your conscience says to do and the spirit of Yahweh tells you to do. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're sick and you're taking natural remedies and somebody thinks that you're crazy, we're not going to allow them to come against and, and, you know, and attack you in any way. Oh, on, uh, you know, spiritualism, dark spiritual witchcraft, voodoo, you know, all these dark practices will not be, um, it will not be tolerated within the Yahad. We, we do not allow uh, this at all. Uh, so it will not be. On tobacco, alcohol, and legal in, or legal substances, the use is tolerated to a point in which intoxication or air pollution occurs. One who is intoxicated will be expelled from the meeting, and there will be uh, no smoking of tobacco or any substance in the course of the assembly. In other words, if you smoke, that's fine. But when we come together in the Yahad meeting or, or in, you know, with other people and stuff like that, we just ask that you can refrain, or if you smoke or something like that, walk away. Uh, because we do respect the uh, rights of other people within the group. Uh, same thing if you drink, we don't have a problem with that, just in moderation. And, you know, if you do it, be very discerning about it and stuff of that nature. On illegal substances, despite its uh, illegality, marijuana is a private matter uh, and conviction. Marijuana and other such uh, illegal substances will not be seen in the yihad. If you use uh, such substances, keep it private. You will uh, not publicly share these substances nor be involved in assemblies while under their influence. We do understand the medical use of marijuana can be consistent with the medical practices of the ancient, and we do not condemn the use of it. And, and in saying that, what we're saying is, is you know, if, if you're taking, you know, if you have cancer or you're, you have issues that you're taking, you know, for medical reasons or something like that, that's your business. Just don't involve it within the yahad. You keep it in private. We don't, we will not judge you with that. We know marijuana for centuries has been used for many good things. And, you know, but the, when we come together as a yahad, we just ask that you keep it private, keep it within yourself and you will not be judged for using it. So here's the, you know, this is the other video that we just got completed of things that we will not tolerate uh, within our group. So uh, shalom, shalom. And we thank you very much.